the charger for my y'all. Hey, it's Janae back with another video. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, hey girl, hey, make sure you take a moment to stop and subscribe, like this video, and turn your bell notifications on so you know when I post. So today, y'all, we're doing another What's in My Bag. I got another Telfar here. You can see she's a big girl. So this is the medium-sized Telfar in white. This is the bag that I use for work, so I just wanted to do another, you know, What's in My Bag work edition. I won't go through the whole Telfar Clemens, what Telfar is, spill like I did last time. So um, we're just gonna get straight into it. So right here, I'm gonna insert some clips because I already like recorded an overview of what's in the bag. Um, I'm gonna try to hold her up too. It's just a little heavy, but you can kind of see what I uh, keep in this bag from like a, a top view. Bag is right here in front of me. We're just gonna start from the top and go to the bottom like we did last time. Um, so first thing in here, I always keep a bottle of water. This is my favorite water. This is Jovi. If you follow my vlogs or follow me on Instagram or anything, you know this is my favorite water. Um, you can see she's she's getting down there. I've been drinking this all day. So um, yeah, keep your water with you. Got to stay hydrated. The next thing I want to pull out of here is my MacBook. So this is the MacBook Air in rose gold. I don't know the dimensions, but it's an Air. So that could kind of give you an idea of what size it is. I'm pretty sure a Pro would also fit in here, but this is the MacBook that I have and I use this often for work. Just a quick little sidebar. I'm a social media manager and a content creator, so all of the items in here are pretty much what I use on an everyday basis for work. So yeah, my MacBook, and her name is Rosie by the way. <laughs> Right in front of my MacBook, I keep my iPad, which is also rose gold. I don't know the generation, but it's the first one that came in rose gold. So there's that. For some reason, she's dead. So I'm gonna have to charge this, but um, I keep my iPad with me at all times. My MacBook, it just kind of depends on where I'm going and what I need to do. Right now, I am saving up for an iMac. I want the pink rose gold one, of course. So I'm saving to get that so that I can use these primarily for, ooh use these two primarily for my own personal content and then use the iMac for work like that's the goal so that's what we're working towards so yeah y'all help me manifest that um <laughs> the next item in there is this notebook I always keep a little notebook with me this one was actually a gift from one of my friends of course there's Beyonce all over it I think she got this from Marshalls or Ross or something like that but these are like super 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 cute it's not a full-size notebook so this is just something that I use to like jot down ideas on the go if I'm just like inspired by something want to write it down real quick and don't want to use like my phone necessarily this is this is what I use so I always keep a notebook with me next thing is this case so I got this off Amazon this is actually what I keep my chargers in um, right now there's only two, two chargers in it so the charger for my y'all <laughs> it fell right out please hold okay so the charger for my phone right here and then the charger for my MacBook. so that's the one thing i got to figure out how i really want to utilize this because this is not stable as you can see this charger the adapter literally fell out but the cords are up there and then i have the adapters down here and i just zip it right on up and keep this together so those are my chargers um i have my vlogging tripod in here this is the manfrotto so this is how it looks um typically my camera would be in here too but i'm using it to film i use a canon m50 to um pretty much create all my content so i vlog with that camera i take pictures with that camera i do sit down videos with that camera so yeah this is the tripod that goes to it so that's in there too my phone both of my phones are usually in my bag. This one was just sitting here for some reason, but it's usually in the bag. So my work phone and then my personal phone, both just, you know, just toss them in the bag. So no special place for them, they just go in the bag. Um, right now I am carrying a big hairbrush because I have, I have a sew in. So I gotta keep my bundles on point. So I keep this brush with me whenever I have like, um, if my hair is like straight or if I have like, 
a sew in or something I keep this type of brush otherwise it's just a comb which is I think I think did I show that comb in my last no because I didn't I didn't have a you I need for it um whenever I do like a what's in my bag video I do intend to show you what's in my bag at this present moment in time so this is my bag as of right now like I didn't curate it this is this is what I've been carrying for the last week or so since I got this bag in the mail so yeah um got the brush so whenever I carry a big bag like this I always use my Louis Vuitton toiletry as a purse um, to just like insert it in the bag so if I need to just pull this out and leave this in the car leave this somewhere I always have this with me so um, we won't do a long long overview of what's inside of here just because I just did it what's in my purse bag and those same exact items are in here so we'll go through it real 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 quick um, so this is my <laughs> another little a little clutch but this is technically my wallet so my card case is in here as well as some cash and then i'd be converting this y'all into a crossbody so i always keep this chain in here too just in case i need to super duper minimize what i have or like what i'm carrying and i just put that chain right there and then it just becomes a purse and you just put it on as a little crossbody you know what i mean so yeah that's the first thing that's in here let me put this back together real quick so we can move on i have my comb in here mirror um the blotting papers hand sanitizer uh what's in here that y'all ain't see last time i'm now carrying a rat tail comb because if you know you know these sewings be itching and i'll be having to get up in there and scratch with this uh rat tail so she's in there um y'all the same stuff that was in my last what's in my purse video is in here the only thing that i did add that i want to update y'all about is i told you guys that i wanted to find some spoolies with a cover instead of just throwing my spoolie directly into my bag which is what i used to brush my lashes with and i did find these on amazon so i got a pack of like 50 you gonna focus or not nah? So yeah, here we go. I got a pack of like 50 of these. So the spoolie is just completely covered and you just pull it out, you know, put it back in. Um, so yeah, that is one update I do want to tell y'all. And then what else in here that y'all ain't see last time? The perfume that I have in here is different because right now I'm wearing um, Killian. I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess. So I have the little travel size version of it. It's just not going to focus, huh? Drama, drama. There we go. And I love this one because it's actually like a spray versus it being like a roll-on. I do not like roll-ons. Like, I don't know why. I just don't. I just don't like it. And then I tell you guys, I um, always carry whatever lip combo I'm wearing. So today I'm wearing Minted's new lip gloss, um, Unpinkable. Unpinkable, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Unpinkable and the lip pencil in Bare. So this is the lip combo in my purse. So yeah, I didn't want to spend too much time on this just because I just did a what's in my purse video, but I just want to let you guys know this was also in here. And that video will be linked in the cards and linked in, linked in the description box for you to check out. Um, so the next thing in here is this little coach pouch. This is from the Sephora collab that coach did. I think last year and I actually grabbed this from the outlet for like $12 y'all I love this thing but what I keep in here I almost dropped it what I keep in here is an extra battery in the charger and my um, SD card case so I got this from Amazon and it does hold six SD cards all together so right now the one that goes here is in my camera and then I have three more over here and then y'all all the stuff that i that i called out that's from amazon will be well all this stuff gonna be linked in the description box below but i do have an amazon storefront so anything from amazon will be in that particular link so it's linked down there and then last but not least the little side pocket is where some of my like sanitary items are so right now i'm keeping a scrunchie with me because i'm wearing like a sew-in so i need to be able to pull my hair back and i love satin scrunchies so get you some um, and then my blue light glasses are in here. I need a better case for them. This is this is the sun this like the little uh, dust bag for my Desi sunglasses. But these are my blue light glasses. I got these from Target. They were probably like five or six dollars. I like love them. They are so so cute. We gonna keep them on for the rest of the video. 
And then also in here, I have a little to-go pack of Clorox wipes because COVID and germs. <laughs> also have like a Purell hand sanitizer wipe because you just never know. Um, my Honey Pot Feminine Wipes are in here also. And this is what I didn't feature in my last What's In My Purse video. And I really wanted to show y'all that. I think it was because I used the one that was in there and I didn't replace it. But I always keep like one or two of these with me. And then this is a little Chanel Beauty drawstring bag, but my mask is in here. And shout out to my girl because she told me to put it inside of here. Cause I was like, I don't know what to put my mask in. I didn't just want it floating around my purse, but she was like, just use one of your little Chanel drawstring bags. So that's what I've been using to like keep my mask in to keep it like, you know, safe and away from all the other stuff. So yeah, that is all that's in my work bag. Um, the bag is fully empty now. So now we're gonna repack it. Um, because this is a bigger bag, I think I'm gonna have to adjust you guys and do like an overhead view maybe. That's probably what I'm gonna have to do. So yeah, I'll adjust y'all and we'll repack the bag. Okay, so you can see inside the bag here, it is completely empty. So we're just gonna start with the back. Well, technically, this is the front, but we're gonna pack this first. So back in there, we're gonna put the Clorox wipes. Let me turn this this way. Maybe that will help. So the Clorox wipes, honey pot wipe. I have the glasses on, but we're still just gonna put the dust bag back in there. The mask goes in there, and then the Purell sanitizer wipe, and then the scrunchie. Let's zip that up. So now for the larger stuff. So first we're going to put the map book at the back. iPad and notebook right in front of it like that. Then typically I slide her in there. And this goes on the side. Put this in here. Let's put it in there. Let's sit this up. And then I put the water right on top. So everything is in there. All right, y'all, so I told y'all we was gonna wear the glasses for the rest of the video. But yeah, so that's what's in my work bag. Um, really, 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 really love this bag. I don't know why it took me so long to get a medium size Telfar. Um, the only size that I, I won't ever get in this is just a large because it's just, the bag is giant. Um, I see that he did release a new style during New York Fashion Week. It's like a duffel bag style. Um, if I can find a picture, I'll insert it here. But yeah, I really, really love this bag. I even, I know it's white, but I even really love the fact that I got it in white because it's just really sleek and chic. Um, it takes nothing to wipe it off or clean it if I get like a scuff mark or something. Um, and yeah, it's not too heavy. Like if I take this water bottle out, I can probably still like, you know, get a good grip on it like if I stand this is basically you know how it looks on my wrist or if I, I can put it on my shoulder as I always say get you a tail far back girl um they are really really nice bags I did order another small one in brown so she's over there let me know if you guys want to see me pack that one up too um but yeah, as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you have any questions about anything in the bag, um, just put it in the comment section. All the stuff that's in here will be listed in the description box below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.